Bonjour, hola, privet, konnichiwa, hello. FaZe Clan versus Team Vitality. Can you, getting... that, can you do that Sorry. in Latvian as well, Harry? You haven't done all the nationalities. Mate, honestly, I'm being inclusive I, here, uh, mate. Being I inclusive. No, I don't know. I don't even... Yeah, I don't know where to begin. Swedish hello. I don't know where to begin. It's just hedge. Hedge, yeah. yeah hedge. hedge. <laughs> I think how are you? Like, hi, how are you? It's like hedge do is basically uh, what it is. There's a lot of different languages out there. And I know how to say hello in about six of them. So let's see who we're going to be saying hello to here on Mirage. Whoa. Woo! We're strapped in to the roller coaster. Team Vitality, they've got some utility on Apex and Shocks. And now, Fate, look at these camera angles that Rush oh has come up God, with, man. Yeah. I feel like I'm Tunnel watching vision. a blockbuster. Don't show us that one. It's a bit <laughs> empty. Is our PK? Let's see. He's shut oh. down immediately by Rain's eye. Well, da -da -da -da, tapping away, but oh missing the shots. And Rain somehow in with three in the blink of an eye. Finally, they've dealt with him. But the bee bomb plant already found and everybody hitting the floor for Team Vitality phase. They're going to get off to a 1-0 start. Entries from Rain are phenomenal as well. We know he's so good with those pistols and just running into B, checking that close corner most importantly. That position with the USP can really find value, but Rain, uh, he does not forget it. And look at these taps, just pristine stuff. That's what you like to see. Rain starting things off strongly for FaZe, and they're already a map up, Harry. You're saying all these hellos, but we might be having to say goodbye to Vitality, at least in this series, if yeah. they can't bounce back on FaZe's map pick. How many goodbyes do you know? Au revoir, adios, and there we go. goodbye. <laughs> There's my three. Rain, he's in with his one, at least to begin this round, shutting down Apex over at the short side. Let's see if these Deegs, this scout on Zywoo, can find anything now for Team Vitality. Already being a man down. And for FaZe, I, I, this is where, like, for Team Vitality, it gets really, really horrible, right? They lose a man early on, and so you know what this means for FaZe. They're just going to sit back. They're just going to wait for these pistol players to walk into their crosshairs. They're not going to give Team Vitality a chance to take a duel until it's too late, until this A-side execute comes through. This double ramp set up between Alex and Shox could do a little bit of damage, though. Let's see if FaZe are ready for it. Ooh, a drop was heard. That's information that FaZe Clan now have. They need to be careful, need to be wary of these close positions. Shock's getting a tag. They should expect Alex here as well. And Olof just jump shots him, as you do, really. FaZe Clan all over this A-bomb site. Nice shot from RBK, but the triple peak from the rest of these ramp players will mean this round is looking almost done. Zai Wu, they're making it interesting, and he's getting spammed. I'd love to read the, uh, the damage indicators. 101 in 19 or something after those spams through the triple box but he eventually does fall and that will be an anti-eco sorted by phase clan nice stuff as they head into round number three still with minimal weapons up against them as vitality have to eco once again that's one tap for me as well keeping up his uh, performance from that pistol round the sound of getting spammed like that really sounds like you're like vigorously mixing a salad or something. I don't know. I've just realized How that. vigorously do you mix Real your salad? Real big. Out? I don't know. But it's not really like you have to mix it. I think if you mix it too hard, you'll get like a salad paste. Very nutritious, <laughs> I bet. Just grass, really. Very high in vitamins. Lots of greenery. But low in the flavor factor. The FF. Well. I mean, no one's eating salad for the flavor. True. Chad loves a salad. Oh dear, the A site's open. Yeah, and Olaf has already cleared that. He's already cleared it. Brokey, so the bomb just goes in. Brokey's gone from, okay, I'm going to push B to <laughs> hide, 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 hide. <laughs> they're all here, they're all here, they're all here. Uh, uh. Scared of his backline. Obviously, he's going to come through late through the apartments, try and catch some of these kills as uh, Vitality attempt to move off. Oh, sorry, we missed that. Didn't see Brokey after the jump. Although, maybe I'm incorrect because they're all still hanging around. No rush, of course, to go back towards A, and they know that FaZe probably have deep control. That is more than true with a man inside of the kitchen. Brokey making sure that he doesn't get overwhelmed by a potential pistol push. And Apex going to get flashed back in, but Brokey hears it. He knows there's a push coming, and he'll take the first. Now the cavalry start to storm into B. Olaf really being patient here. FaZe are, are not in a rush to take these kills, and I don't really blame them. They don't want to lose any guns, and they know that Vitality are running crossfire. So, yeah, screw it. Just hold on to your weapons, and... Yeah, Vitality don't save anything, so it's not really like they're winning either. 
I would have liked to see Olaf go for it, considering he's got a UMP. Like, screw it, make that money. If you die, you upgrade. Fair. I always kind of... I, I, that's true, but I always kind of love the threat of holding a couple of SMGs because you know, as a result, you've got to spend that little bit extra on head yeah, armor. True. And that can, reduce, that can reduce things like kits, things like utility. And you see the impact that's... Oh, my God, man. I've, case study right here. Uh, full head armor for everyone on the side of Team Vitality. And as a result, there's no kits in play. There could have been. Were that not the Ooh. case, Nico no. fast down through short. Zaiwu is not ready for the blistering pace set by this man. And already FaZe sitting a man up. Mid control taken and Team Vitality with nothing to show for this lost man. Now looking to try and take some aggression elsewhere on the map. You can see Shox has worked his way close down through ramp, doing whatever he can to try and get even a smidge of information for Team Vitality to work with. Olaf waiting on the other side of this smoke, but he gets rattled onto you by Apex. So that man in the window is gone. And now we're back into a four on four. Best part is they didn't even see Alex, who also came in rotating through. So that's more info that Vitality have over FaZe. Great position in the spawn here for Shox. Headshot angle on this ramp, but he's watching his back line. That could come back to bite him. Oh, Nico, second time's the charm and second bullet in the face of Shox. As now FaZe send that bomb packing towards the A bomb site. There's a man up in the connector already. Rain got here immediately after Zywu died in mid to Nico. And uh, now he starts to take control of window as well. Apex not ready for the close position. They were more so thinking about the ramp play and while that is where the bomb is coming through Alex is stuck in the spawn rain still finding taps left right and center and that bomb is not going to get dropped it instead will be planted Alex with one but ultimately it's still a phase clan round 4-0 on this T side a fantastic start to their map pick and Mirage has always been a good map for FaZe, right? It used to be the home map of this team, and they're still looking deadly on it. You could see so much confidence from this man on our screens. Nico and Rain, both with stellar rounds, both with stellar kills thus far to kickstart this match for Team Vitality. Problems beginning to set in once again. That oh-so-familiar foe being poor as anything. Is, uh, it's rearing its ugly head again already for the French squad. Oh, look at this at Palace. They pushed in. They've got it. Yeah. They've got a little foothold. It's, I feel like at the time it takes you to wrap spawn, if you run here, if you start running through spawn, uh, players at top mid can hear you. FaZe will know. So you have to sneak if you want to flank, and that just gives so much time, so much room for FaZe to gain other map control. And you can see they're already reconsidering this possibility as they start to come back through the apartments. Multiple players as well Ooh. going together, and FaZe are not letting Vitality go anywhere but the graveyard. Nico tapping them again, and it's just, it's like last round, Harry. Just leave spawn for a bit, come back later, and they'll be served up hot on a platter. It's like farming, isn't it, man? They've planted little seeds. <laughs> Nico, he's just waiting for the harvest, and he'll reap his reward with two kills in this round here. And uh, this is already this one pretty much dead to rights. I hate to break it to you if you're a Vitality fan, but they've got very, very little to work with now. I'd love to get an AK out of this round. And Brokey, well, Ooh. he will give one over. That's at least something they can maybe take with them. A little ways off from making this round feel doable. We need to see a heroic play from Alex over in the jungle. And instead, he's now dropped. It's Zai Wu and Apex who have got oh, so to deliver. Close. Apex getting away with so much damage, but not quite the kill. Zai Wu, it's his turn to go through the murder hole. Third time might be the charm, but with a smoke down bomb planted at a 1v4, Zai Wu instead gonna try and hold on to this rifle. Oh, here comes Rain around the corner. Oh, the timing. Zywoo still flicks back, though. And you could see the penny drop in that round. The second that Zywoo gets that deeg on Brokey coming through the apartments, Vitality instantly start rotating. And that's because they go, OK, Brokey's dead. Brokey's the dude that always goes solo B when FaZe are lurking, or, or oh, sorry, Brokey's lurking B while FaZe are executing A. And so that was a read for Vitality. But at that point, with the pistols, far too late. Zywoo, so he's going to hold on to this gun, though. No one here to stop him unless Cold Zero can magically jump through that window. Doesn't look realistic. So five over phase, Zywoo calculated. Sure, let's say that as he gets away with four HP. No armor, so the bomb does do significantly more damage to you. And uh, that would have been a shame to see him die. But luckily, he holds on to that gun. I wonder if he'll drop it over and just buy up the orb, though, regardless.
I'm kind of loving how FaZe are approaching this A side of the map. They're, they're almost saying to Vitality, if you want to push, if you want to come through our spawn and give us that long angle to fight you on, then we'll take it, right? I think this is where for Vitality as well, the, the, the kind of information gain from this ramp, from this palace push is going to be a lot more limited, right? If you kind of know that you can't go further than T spawn, all you are going to get is that early info, the palace and ramp are clear. Not to mention now for FaZe, they've seen Vitality go for that aggression time and time again. I almost wonder if now we see them adjust to it fully, right, and rotate players towards Ramp and Palace early. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They set up for a standard A execute, knowing that Vitality are going to be a bit worried, a bit dubious about uh, aggressing on this side of the map. Hello. Ooh. Oh, what a shot. Nice entry from Rain, but I was going to respond. And Alex was waiting in mid for that lurk. It eventually does get finished off, but FaZe have traded that kill for the A site. They've got three players here pushed deep towards CT, and a plant has been found as well. Vitality, double setup here, but a flashbang could really render these players useless. Sai Wu waiting for the repeak, and the orb will be dropped down. And Sai Wu coming back in with a smoke. Nico playing close, and he finds a kill, but he doesn't know there's still two more players tucked around this corner. They're going to start to run at him, and Nico slaughtering them. Oh no, this is turned on its head and now he's in a one-on-one. -on -one. He can back up. He can play that bomb. It's planted default. No kit for Alex. He's got to get on it now and there's no way he'll be able to stick this defuse. So Nico coming back in with the taps and closing the round for FaZe. They will just not stop on this T side. Six and zero and Nico saving the day. Oh, he's always so at home on Mirage and it's scary. Even the fact that like, he doesn't commit to a spray there onto Alex. He's like, nah, I'm tapping this tap, kid. Tap, tap. And uh, he does. He does tap him down, cements that round with a 4K. I'm going to get so many Nico Mirage highlights, and I feel like we're in for a bunch of them this yeah. time around. Just He's the confidence, man. Especially towards this A side of the map, man. He just knows the angle so well. There's that one as well where he gets like the 4K on the players' stairs just in a matter of taps. You're actually the one to cast. Yeah, that order uh, Katowice. Yeah. yeah. I was old school. Oh dear, contact play out ramp here. Shox is holding though. Maybe you're the good luck charm for Nico. Maybe you're the reason that he gets so many of these big plays. I'd love to convince him of that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Probably not the oh, truth. Oh, well this shot, sure. he's bought down low. So maybe if we speak about it, we jinx it. Still, man advantage taken. And this AWP rotating in on the back of Zaiwu won't be able to find anything. The smoke's gone down in jungle. He's cut off. He's cut out of this round. And now he's relying on his teammate back in. Oh, hang on. Are they going to throw him up in the boost? He can see over. Nice. He can see everything from atop his watchtower. They put him back into it. FaZe, you can't keep giving him these angles to There's work a barrel. with. There's a barrel. Zaiwu. Harry, there's a barrel! Not quite able to see that barrel sticking out past the palace. Nico deals with Alex. Brokey finds Apex and now RPK and Zaiwu left alone. They try and deal with Brokey, but no, no kill found for RPK. And Zaiwu's just got to hold on to the big green. Yeah, run for the hills. They're coming for you, Zaiwu. Cross for Brokey. Gets a close molly just to clear the stack. The cinder blocks, but uh, going back towards CT, and this is where Rain is. So, oh, there it is, hidden behind the flower pot. But he eventually does get dropped, and Zaiwu will be able to run back towards the market. But even with all this utility from Brokey, he doesn't want to overcommit and give away another frag. Knows who's on the other side of this barrel. Ugh. Does make the cat jump though. That can cut Saiwu off, but at this point it is null and void. He's going to hold on to this AWP. That being said, 7 0 for FaZe Clan. What a storming start to the T side of their map pick. Is there any signs of them stopping? Not really. Doesn't seem like it. And right now, Vitality haven't really shown us much to uh, to find confidence behind. Shocks again, zero and six, Harry. We had the oh, same start. Even though Vitality is... were up 8-3 in that first map, Shocks had the same score. Uh, now that they're down, he's needed more than ever, and he's just as dormant. Then again, I mean, this time around, it's only Zaiwu putting up any numbers in the server. 
you know, heartbreaking. It didn't really matter that Shox wasn't showing up earlier on back on Inferno. You know, they were blistering ahead. But here, as you say, we need him now more than ever. RPK got to try and hold the line at the B side of the map. Alex getting tagged over at bench. RPK will get rid of Nico, but it's quickly dealt with. Alex still an unknown entity, but now going to give away his position with that spray. Brokey's found Shox rotating off of the A-bomb site. Zaiwu going to go back and try and get this trade, but Brokey's just stalling, and he's separated these two CTs. He's divided this now so that Alex is at this B-side of the map alone, and Olaf, patient as ever, shuts him down. The B-side has fallen, and Zaiwu once again has to try and hold on to this orb. I love the patience there. And the reason that Vase takes so long is because they got cold already out, right? He gets a trade and then drops into the site with the bomb, but he's on 10 HP, Harry. And if he starts moving and dying, that's when the round falls apart. So Vase just go, okay, let's just hold angles. There's another man in B. The smokes are going to fade eventually, and he's got to take a fight. And uh, that's exactly what Alex tried to do. He attempts to pull back the advantage, and, well, he just walks into the scope of the orb. 8-0 for Vase. And Zaiwu holding on ramp. He will get away with his gun at the end of the round as well. But again, we're just coming back to these small constellations here. It doesn't matter that this AWP is being held if you're not capitalizing on it, if you're not you know, getting frags. And, and Zai Wu has just been at the wrong place at the wrong time, it feels. Nice little BXX for FaZe uh, for Clan. I mean, that's the thing, right? Vitality, they haven't really got to play around how they want to play at all yet. It's all been just dictated to them, right? They'll be losing this early man nine times out of ten, and then they have to rotate players around. And, and Zaiwu, a lot of the time, has been that swing player just because, you know, he's got the ability to turn rounds around on his own. FaZe have done a great job of just dodging him time and time again. Olaf doesn't even look interested. It's too easy for him. 8-0. Don't blame it with Nico going 10-1 and one with all these taps coming through and all these clutches being found. It all just really is lining up too easily for FaZe Clan. Not how I expected the second map to go. But another buy round for Vitality. Another chance for them to invest. And the double orb. Yeah, Shocks donning the other one. Still yet to put a kill up on the board. Let's see if this, the AWP now being in his hands, is a turning point. He didn't buy a kit. He could have bought some more flashbangs. Bit triggered about that, really. You like your full buys? But it's, I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, I mean, I get, I mean, we'll see if it's the end of the world. Yeah. If he's left in a defuse situation where he could have got it with a kit, then we'll be bringing this one back up. That's the thing. If that happens once to you, you never forget it. I have one round in Counter Strike where I didn't buy a kit where I had money and I lost the round. And, and I, ever since, I just can't forget that round. And now I always buy kits. And, uh, you know, yeah. even though Rush doesn't, you know, there's, got to. there's still two in play, right? So we can definitely try and pick them up. But uh, already a player getting dropped over in middle and window control looking to get taken by rain. He's not going in and that's good because Alex is lying in wait. RPK going to try and use this miss smoke up on short to his advantage. Oh dear, don't keep going. It's oh. the old dropper yeah, room. He's out. done. He's out of here. Sharks, here we go. Orp, chance to find Rain, and he will strike one from the tally. First kill on the board for Shocks. Doesn't want to be the commander-in-chief. He's got to be the master chief with that 117 score line, and he's looking for a bit more of a reach in this round here. Scope down towards the ramp. It's a bit worrying that the bomb is alone in underpass. It's only Nico there. Like, he's not going to get killed here. This could be a bit of a problem later in the round. There's 20 seconds. He's got to cross past Alex, and it's not going to help the Shox is getting all these kills as well. Nico with the one important frag, and now Shox in the spawn is being pressured. 10 seconds plant is required. Nico's hunting the kill, and he's going to get away with it. What a massive opener from Nico. The bomb plant facilitated, and now they can play the two-on-two -two post plant. Yeah, Nico is low, and right now that is the only silver lining for Team Vitality. Shocks was the man to kickstart this round. Now Zaiwu and RPK have to finish it. That flashbang is not great, and with it, Cold has found RPK. Zaiwu to try and clutch this in a 1v2. He's held on to this AWP two rounds in a row, and it might just be a third. He does get that kill onto Cold, and now the temptation is there. Time ticking on down. Nico just hidden in the sight, and Zaiwu doesn't see him on the jump. Oh. Nico, 12 points of health, still putting up numbers, 
and even the bit of BM onto Zaiwu at the end, really trying to make the French squad stew in this very, very one-sided scoreline, trying to get in their heads is Nico. And shocks his first three kills on the map, right? Great defensive shots of this AWP. But this frag from Nico, where he chases shocks down here, what a what a heroic call to make. He could have just stick, stuck the plan and had Cold Zero cover him from Palace, from the balcony. That would have been the go-to, but with 10 seconds, he takes the risk, and boy, does he get the reward. Faze still yet to drop around. Brokey waiting for this underpass push, but he only trades one for one. That could be an opener. That could be an opportunity for Vitality, but remember, this is a half-buy. They only have pistols and armor, while that one gun has been secured for Alex, and he gets a chance to back off. FaZe do know what they're up against. Yeah, I'm already loving this from FaZe. A lot of teams on the back of seeing that underpass push and having a kill get traded get a bit worried, right? And it's not uncommon to see them maybe make a few stumbles, desperately trying to figure out if, you know, this is going to be like a B-side stack, if this player's continued to push. But instead, FaZe, what they do is, is they just lock down the apartments. And so they've at least in their minds negated the idea that this player could be pushing through the apartments. And so they're not going to make any mistakes trying to fumble their way into a bomb site early on. And now with that information, this four on four, they'll go down through mid, slow as ever. One smoke at top connector. Usually when that smoke goes in, the uh, the T's try and get into the connector and then push through behind it. So that's going to keep a few more players towards this A side of the map. And this B defense falls solely on the shoulders of Alex. Oh, he spots them, and Nico's wider than he anticipated. Finally going to get dealt with by Apex, but oh, little CZ burst, couple of frags, but is it going to be enough? The B site's lost now for Vitality. FaZe able to get a bomb plant again, and RBK looking lost as he comes through the uh, market, getting caught by Cold. It's just one man left up, and although that man is Zaiwu getting ahead of the Molotov, it's a huge clutch to ask of him. Cold's not been aware, though, and zaiwu has got an angle. He spams. He gets the frag, but 2 HP, the difference is he swaps over to the AK-47. Olaf's gone above, and he will go beyond. Phase 10 and 0. Still not dropping around on this T side. Is there going to be any stopping them? Vitality running out of chips here, Harry. Yeah, the seagulls of Phase have snatched them all up. I was thinking casino chips, I know, but that works. I yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, direction. he's done something there. Look, man, I'm from the coast. Seagulls, they're yeah. a real threat. Are both, they? both to your food and to any small animals. That's actually a very sad truth. Here's phase ten and zero. Zai Wu with this AWP, shocks bringing out the other one. It was with that weapon that he was able to get his name on the board and make a round feel almost doable for Vitality. Flashes oh, no. in, Zai Wu, so unfortunate. He dodges the flash, and as far as that duel is concerned, he almost had the advantage, right? Olaf is having a peek into his crosshair. He believes that the AWP on short is flashed, and that's not the case. Apex, <gasps> oh, they've gone by each other, and Nico is already in that corner. This corner is not big enough for the both of them. And now this little duel, ah! it's like a Western movie as Shox has gone in. It's a standoff for window and Vitality have at least cleared Nico out. Still the man advantage residing with FaZe. Connector control going their way and cold up in the palace. This is looking and feeling like the A split coming on through now. Alex Ooh. and Shox have to close this round out. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate timing. I think his barrel stuck out as well when he looked towards the jungle and that gave cold the information to dedicate to the angle. Winning that fight. Oh, bomb being spotted. Ooh. Shocks just about seeing the corner of someone's leg there, but Rain's going to get a chance to get away after planting. And with the Molotov going down, because the info is there for phase, no way Shocks is surviving this round. 11 and 0, Harry. Four rounds left. This could be a bit shameful if uh, it continues in the current pattern that it's going right now. But honestly, what, what do you even do here if you're Vitality? That being said, we've not seen really any attempts at mid control in these rifle rounds. We've not seen Vitality throw in, you know, the classic top mid smoke, go Astralis, get some players up there, try and force some fights. They've definitely been given phase the, to the room to get these boosts up in window to get down through connector. The thing I'm always worried about with Zaiwu in this team, right, is, is there's always the, the, the chance that a player that looks so strong goes like the Kirby route, right? Where you're like this very influential guy, a young age looking fantastic. And then, you know, it kind of all soars to a head far too quickly and you struggle to keep that up. It only takes a couple of knockbacks, but hang on Hugo, we'll hold this dog because we got the Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel Power plays. You can head on over to ESL CS Twitter and vote on them. Yeah, we got a couple of uh, Hunter's Cousins plays on there. Two of them, in fact, Harry.
I like the Zai Wow as well. That yeah, was nice. good. The names are always, oh, yeah, fantastic. Keep it up, guys. But yeah, I mean, someone else who needs to keep it up is FaZe Clan, and I think they've got that plan up their sleeve. 11 and 0 and an eco for Vitality. Everyone wants to be on the winning end of a 16-0, Harry. Yes, I've said it. The magic words that will eventually win Vitality their first round, I'm sure, now as Zaiwoo finds Nico. That's a huge scout to take off early. The flash misses, but Zaiwoo doesn't. Hit a tag, rains low. Repeat should sell his fate, and Zaiwoo's done it. Olaf as well coming up. Catwalk, this is a kill that will win the round for RPK if he can drop that bomb in the open, but Olaf getting a second chance at life, getting an opportunity to concede the position. Brokey pressuring B, the Molotov holding RPK back, but he's dinked. Add it to the tally. Phase clan with two low HP players, and bomb should get lost here. Shox has trapped Olaf in top middle. This SMG coming in from above. Olaf is going to need to hit the shot of a lifetime here. There oh, it is. Oh no! That was meant to be the moment. That was meant to be the defining moment in this round, but instead Olaf's wanted out. Ooh! Zaiwu one tap. Brokey's in with one of his own, and that B site is now ripe for the taking. Olaf's got to get a move on, but oh, oh hang on a minute. It's all a ruse. It's all a fakey, fakey. Back through T spawn. Olaf runs. Brokey's trying to join him. Bombs actually dropped back in T-Spawn. Olaf's going to try and clear this site alone. This is a bit risky. 20 seconds. They've got to go fast. They've yeah. got to go faster than ever. <laughs> I was already here. So I was already on the angle, and Olaf has eluded him, got him past. Whether or not he's ready, oh Zai Wu, four kills. He's on for the ace. Brokey left in this What's situation why? where he's got a clutch. Why? And he taps the bomb. Why? And Zai Wu aces. Phenomenal round from Zai Wu. But it's still only one on the board for Vitality. I'm perplexed, Harry. I'm very perplexed. I am a little bit too. He I mean, had a CT smoke down. He had a smoke to cover him from, from the main angle that, that you're going to be worried about. But instead, like, I, I understand thinking Zaiwu's going to hunt you down there and wanting to take the fight. But you had four seconds left. You stick the plant, you have a chance. You fake it, even if you get one kill. There's no way Vitality are giving you both gunfights. There's just no way. They're not going to do it. And that is an unfortunate way to lose your first round. But at the end of the day, it yeah. comes down to Zaiwu and you can't take it away that's from That's what him. I was going to say. About it. You know, at the end of the day, it's all for Vitality. It's great that they get the first on the board. It's great that it's Zaiwu to get them there, but it required an ace from that man. Yeah. He had to get all five. Yeah. He's playing this alone right now. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Either way, not going to be the end of the world for FaZe. They're 11-1, Harry. They're doing just fine. But uh, yeah, Vitality stemming the bleeding here near the end of the first half. Will they be able to keep it up? Will they be able to find something more or is it just a lone round in the woods? Phase slow A play here, very, very methodical. Just waiting, seeing if Vitality want to bring any aggression into this rifle round. It was aggression that picked up the previous round for Vitality with those Deegs from Zaiwu. Flashes and smoke starting to land. That close ramp smoke gives Phase the room to get players onto Tetris if they do so, please. Shox is watching for it, but Olaf has his number held down the palace and Shox dead. It's Alex hidden at the back of the site. This is a good position. They might not expect it, but there's so many T's all over this site. That Molotov just about missing, though. And that, that could actually give Alex now a means of putting up some numbers. They believed it was clear, and that's Ooh. let him get one. Zaiwu is in with another. Team Vitality charging into this site, not giving FaZe any room to maneuver. Cold will get one. Brokey in with another. It's down to the two on two. Both these FaZe players are low, though. And for Vitality, it's looking up. Zaiwu's there to help out Brokey, and narrowly, narrowly so. Vitality going to get their second round on the board, finding their footing very late on in this first half. That said, you know, we, we've seen bigger comebacks than this on the Pro League. A 4-11 half, not impossible, but I don't want to start hyping that storyline up too much whatsoever. You know, FaZe, this is still absolutely incredible from them. Yeah, but those four rounds near the end of the half could set Vitality up, assuming a pistol can be picked up as well. But let's get to it when and if we do and that might not even be a possibility with Olaf hitting shots like that drops RPK on the jump spot towards B rain does get tagged by the orb of Zaiwu but no finishing blow put down to 19 
Molly's in the window to keep Vitality out of middle. It's been a mainstay position of FaZe's T side. They have had all the control that they please over in the middle. Not seen many cat plays, and Apex is waiting for one of those. Resmoke. We could see another boost come through for FaZe Clans. I always watch and connect it from above the ticket. Tipsy Turvy top side, and Nico's been dropped. Back into a four on four. Reboost coming in for Vitality as well. Perfect timing, but all of how the hell does he get away with that kill? I do not know. He's back on the AK after giving Rain the AWP, who was tagged by Zaiwu. And now FaZe, with the man advantage despite low HP, can group up and take this bomb to the site. And now Brokey's been up in the apartments every T side round, and this time it's going to come back to her FaZe. He gets dropped. 30 seconds left. This bomb all the way up in the apartment. If it's going to head towards A once again, it's got to go, and it's got to go quickly. Cold needs Ooh. this kill, and he checks the angle, but it's one of those checks where you don't really believe in it, you know? You've already kind of decided that it's clear before you go round. And now Shox is aggressive ramp position. That should shut this whole round. Ooh, uh, oh, how is he so good at this? He's a man who does not die in situations where he should. He is the Deadpool of FaZe Clan. And now Bomb Plant attempting to get found, but this time death does come to Olaf Meister. 11 to three, another round on the board for Vitality and a chance of salvaging something at the end of this first half. Yeah, a chance being the key, right? Even with four rounds on your CT side, that's such a monumental comeback that you have to pull moving over to your T half and on phases map. Like they're going to feel absolutely fine moving over to the defensive side. Zywu, so great shots as well. Even finishes off that bomb plant with the Deagle. And now FaZe, first time we've seen them with economical troubles in this entire map so far. And even then, they've still got AKs and Kriegs. One Galil and a couple of SMGs as well. As I would close on the ramp, he has been a terror for FaZe in this map, despite the scoreline. 19 and 7. That is despicable. Flashes and smokes lying over. Zywu waiting for contact. He's got shocks tucked in on the corner, but he's been cleared. And Zywu with one. Oh, he doesn't commit to the angle, though. Olaf chases him down with a MAC-10. Fast and furious are FaZe. Alex with a responsive kill, though. Keeps his advantage now back into a three-on-three. -three. FaZe do get control of the site, though, and the bomb plant can come through. And with Zywu gone, that is one of the major hurdles that FaZe had to get past removed from the round. Now it falls. So the remaining trio of Apex, RPK, and Alex to see this half through. Rain is in CT, oh. and Alex is going to best him in the head-to-head. -head. Nico oh. not ready, and the Galil of Cold Zera gets dropped by Alex as well. Four kills for him in the retake, and that's allowed by Tality a 4-11 scoreline. Considering it was 11-0, at least they've salvaged a somewhat doable situation. They've dodged the embarrassment of a 15-0 half well. Is that going to be enough to recover, though, or will it be phase 2-0-ing this series? Join us after the break to find out.
Not with the chatting, I just step up and make it happen. It's our lifestyle. lifestyle. Living young and restless, yeah, we quite wild. Yeah. If I want it, I'ma get it talking right now. right now. And I ain't got no regrets, it's my time now. Lights so out when you see us talking moves. You don't know that's the topic. Face Clan after the first half of Mirage are a map up in the series and 11-4 at half time. Here's a fun stat for you, Harry. At the end of that first half, Vitality ended with Zaiwu on 20 kills and four of his teammates averaging 23 kills overall. Not averaging, accumulating. Yeah. So Zaiwu almost as good as the rest of his team mm. put together. Hoo-wee! Well, is that enough? <laughs> That's the thing, man. T-side, at least now, you can use Zaiwu as the battering ram to open Ooh. up these bomb sites. Ooh! Oh, I've not seen that one. Smokeroo. Hello. Thrown in over towards jungle, and that now also combined with a top Good. mid smoke. Uh, sorry, top con smoke. Does kind of box these players in over at the A side of the map. The bomb's going to start to rotate through T-Spawn for Team Vitality. Zaiwu left in a lurk position up in the apartments. They're hoping maybe that he can come in late through underpass to try and see this round through, but it really does rely oh, on getting this bomb. bomb down. It's dropped up in the apartments now on the A side of the map. Rain not missing with this USP. It's actually Olaf to get that one. There's Zaiwu deleted. And yeah, this round has not gone the way that Vitality had perhaps envisioned. Cold Zero fired two bullets in this round and Cold Zero got two kills in this round in phase while they keep four alive. 12 on this CT side. And yeah, I, I would have loved to know what that plan was for Vitality if it went well, because they had two players in apartments, they had one top mid with the jungle smoke, they had you know, the rest coming in through A, it just seemed very uh, very split, very convoluted. Clearly a game plan that uh, didn't go well, considering, you know, Shox gets one tapped, Zaiwu gets one tapped, and uh, the bomb gets dropped up in Palace. Not a perfect round for Vitality, and one that FaZe will take every day of the week. Now with lots of rifles in the second round, they look to take matters into their own hands. Nico getting towards the top of middle. Lots coming in through underpass, though, and he's going to hear these footsteps. So churning them up like a little salad, Harry, or, or whatever you do with your green leaves. It's uh, a nice flawless round for FaZe Clan. So the PT-50 is finding nothing, but we were just waiting for the rifle round here and now. And it could be the only rifle round if FaZe get their way. They're so close to getting this one over the edge after taking the pistol and the follow-up anti-eco now 13-4 in their favor. This one could reach a rather anticlimactic close for Team Vitality. Alex, at least, is, you know, rising up through the ranks alongside Zaiwu. It, it's the other boys, you know, the old, uh, the old guard, RPK, Apex, and Shocks. They're all just missing from the server. And this T side is never even get the, gonna get it, they're gonna get it, they're uh, gonna get, gonna blah, blah, blah. get the chance to, to begin. Thank you, Hugo. Well done, Harry. My speech therapist Gold on star. standby. Alex <laughs> opening this round up with a kill onto Brokey. Whether or not that's enough to get them into the B site, we'll have to wait and see. There's no one else there, so they will just go for it. Apex going to cut down Olaf over in mid, and already for phase, you could justify the save at this point in time. Nah, they might even just go for exit and, and try and make some money, really. But yeah, I guess two, uh, two rifles. 
not really looking too interested either, right? Looking for the lurking players of Vitality instead. Surprised that FaZe don't want to try and take some money away from Vitality in this round. Considering the chance uh, or the fact that they can fully reinvest in the follow-up regardless of how many players survive. Like, someone like Rain definitely should be trying to get some money with this SMG. And that's even better. He finds Apex. And that will be a Krieg dropped over in the spawn for him to grab. He's going to smoke it off just in case there are any more pesky Frenchmen waiting in the wings. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a quick mission. Grab the gun. Get out of there and give Vitality a fifth round. Not a worry for FaZe, still with a huge buffer in this map. And uh, even the AWP has a possibility in the follow-up round. Nico has 6,600, so if Olaf is feeling feisty, we could see that gun dropped over, and, uh, well, Zywoo won't have his own for the time being. Thirty-four kills on Zaiwu and Alex. A twelve for the rest of Vitality Oof. put together. And that's the thing. It feels like even if we just had like one more player stepping up, if RPK could relive some of his glory back from Inferno, suddenly this becomes like not not an easy situation to get yourselves out of by any stretch of the imagination. But you've already got your star showing up and hitting the shots that you need. This A play is. Maybe going to come through from Vitality here. They throw these smokes in, but they're not going to commit to it. They actually rotate back. They're trying to fake uh. this one out. Nico watching from the connector. About to get tested. Zywoo's on this angle. Oh, yeah, and he's ready for that. Nico moves away from the Molotov into that corner, and Zywoo's going to predict it. That molly won't spread to the man boosted in the window. That's cold, but, oh, Zywoo, another entry kill into B. Brokey misses his opportunity, and with that phase, are out of this round. They might try and consider getting cold into the picture, but he's been spotted, and he doesn't get a kill for it. Oh, the spray not connecting the second time around, and that's definitely going to be the save call, at least for Olaf, who has the AWP in C. Oh. Spotted as well. So, Alex, do you want a second try? He's actually going to get flashed from middle, and Rain lines up a double as they both bo boost into the window. Alex won't fight this AWP of Olaf that has gotten away, but Shock should be able to send Rain to a dark, dark place right now, coming in through the ramp. Goodbye. Just the AWP left now for FaZe, and Olaf got to do his best to stay alive here. Here's the wrap. Is he ready for it? No. Apex able to remove the AWP and they grab it as well. That's now going to find itself in the hands of Zaiwu. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe having Zaiwu just delivering the entries into these sites is more than enough for Vitality. They'll get another one here. I would love to see FaZe maybe move Cold back into that B bomb site alongside Brokey because it does feel like he's struggling over here just a little bit. Thinking even back to the end of the T side when he was working over in the apartments, it did start to feel like that, that, that B flank that had been pretty useful early on started to become a liability. So maybe it wouldn't surprise me if we see FaZe look to reinforce that site a little bit more heading in to the next rifle round. This one, just the eco from FaZe and a chance of Vitality to build their way back into this even further. Bomb is going B despite this A stack for FaZe. And I think Vitality have read into this situation quite well. They spotted a couple. Zywu, here's Brokey. And <laughs> I like that try. Brokey had a Zeus there trying to fall onto the Orpa, but getting pistoled away. And now FaZe is just about rotating in through market and feeding the beasts to spot. Rain does get one onto Shocks, but other than that, that's a lurk on the A site. The rest of... Uh, Vitality are all over B, not going to be giving away these kills for free either. Olaf's got a Krieg for the save, and Nico and Rain waiting in the wings for just a little bit more. Actually, Olaf's died, so uh, someone can go and grab that gun if they please. Yeah, good luck getting past this, though. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! Come on! <laughs> Eventually. He's 9 HP. Someone's got to get him. There we go. RPK will be the one to do it. Seventh round for Team Vitality now on the board. 
I think this has got to be it, right? That B bomb site has just been the go-to for Vitality. They've been besting Brokey on this side of the map time and time again. We know that Cold is a beast inside of B, right? The man, the myth, the beast, quite literally. So um, let's see if maybe they move him toward this side of the map. Brokey donning that second AWP here alongside Olaf. So yeah. I'm hoping this is going to be him maybe challenging the catwalk as opposed to going for the apartments play with it. But that's not the case. They send Cold back towards short side. At least this time, Vitality might switch things up and head into the A bomb site. Three players toward this side of the map for FaZe Clan. One of those will be Nico over in jungle and Rain back in CT. Going to be that first point of contact. He's shut down immediately. Missed shot from Olaf, oh, uncharacteristically no. so. And this can't fall apart now for FaZe. They were, what, 11-0 up at one point in time. And now it's only Cold left into this one. Vitality might be about to arrive at an eighth. I love that play from Cold. He times his drop with a flashbang to avoid the noise being heard. But the issue is Zyra was in window. Does get away from it. Cold's going to go through this smoke. Ballsy yeah. play. Why not? You don't expect that, but Zyra somehow does. Somehow, some way, waits for Cold and that's actually gross. will deliver it. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's gross. That's, that's horrible. It's filth. But uh, yeah, great work. Good read. And another round for Vitality. Baby steps, Harry, but they're getting back into the swing of things, not going down without a fight in the second half. And like you said, you know, how how has this happened? Phase 11 0 up and now 13 7. It's not a worry, right? They still got it, or 13 8. They've still got a good score line, but it is slipping away from them. And with an eco in their face, it's going to be likely a ninth round for Vitality before Phase find more success. Lots of smokes in this round for FaZe, but it's not Inferno. You can't smoke off those choke points forever. Rain could just get some headshots instead, and that will do just fine. Alex going down. Apex does look for this trade, but Nico's covering as well. And Rain, ooh, they've shuffled out the gun. They're not going to let him get away with that. Oh, no, he has, sorry. Assume those two players were picking it up, but Rain just highway robbery down ramp. Giving that over to Nico as well. This could get very threatening, very fast. No armor for FaZe, keep that in mind, but... Vitality, they are just gonna go Hail Marying into B. Couple of players out through middle, could split the catwalk here. Olaf is waiting for connect control. Just contact, not getting too much info on this mid play. And here are the smokes that should get Vitality up short towards B. Ah, they're out of here. Nico with this retrieved Krieg. Oh, another, another kill from Nico. Not ready for the repeat from Shocks up atop the stairs. Rain's beginning his rotation back through ramp. They've only found one man on the A site, so will they be ready for rain emerging oh. late? No one's watching it, but there's the spot. They know he's here. Zaiwu's seen, and they send shocks in for the kill, but RPK wrapping around solidifies that. Man advantage stripped away from FaZe, and so now only having these pistols in the retake. It's not looking good. Brokey will deliver one with the Deagle. 2v2. Cold still on his way up in through the connector. Zaiwu, the man inside of the site, trying to lock this one down. The bomb. Not actually uh, planted for RPK. So there's always a world in which they can make this threatening if they find Zaiwu. It's just he's not giving oh, no. them the fight. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now he's got to give them the fight. He's got to take these fights. Time's ticking away. And FaZe are trying to deal with him. Zaiwu's not budging. Holds down the angle. Cold. There's no time for the defuse. They get all the kills. But it's still a ninth round for Vitality as Zaiwu wastes the time down on the clock. He's almost on 30 kills, by the way. Oh. Oh my. He's doing it all. You think Simple has it hard or had it hard at one point in time. Zaiwu right now is Team Vitality. <laughs> oh, scary stuff as well. And it's not like anyone on phase is even close to that scoreline, right? We had Nico just decimating in that first half. He was 10 and 0 or 10 and 1. But uh, not that he's slowed down, but the rest of his team is caught up a little bit. And it's no longer a one man army here. That being said, the, uh, the one-man army might be enough for Vitality. They're really pulling this back into uh, a questionable position for FaZe, who are now having to call a tactical pause. 13-9, still four ahead and still three away from victory lane and what would be a 2-0.
this next rifle round will decide a lot, especially, right? FaZe just did a lot of damage in that round, getting all five kills, not the round, though. And so Vitality's money getting dwindled just that little bit could set them up for a reset here, could set them up for potential pistols in the future if FaZe can capitalize. Double Orb is back out, this time on cold over Brokey instead, and FaZe wanting to take some top mid control. They've thrown that smoke. Vitality wanted to combat it. They had Alex here, but he has been smoked off. Nice start for Zaiwu as well. Hitting the 30 bomb in this round and taking down Cold Zero's AWP on B. That actually might just send Vitality straight in. They're going to commit off the back of that pick and Brokey is hiding at the back of the site. He's lost his opportunity. He drops the bomb. Oh, he's got two. The Dink as well. That's more than you could ask for from Brokey. And Nico is here as well. He's getting, He got tagged, but Olaf has come up from Catwalk to save the day. And Alex now has to clutch it out on his own. Yeah, the other man, he's been looking good for Vitality, but a one on three might be too much oh. to ask. He somehow dodged all these players that have tried to peek into him, but not the third time around. Rain shuts him down. 14 now on the cards for FaZe. Two away from closing this out, but it's not been an easy time for them over on the CT side. Finally, we get to see what we've been waiting for all second half long. Brokey stepping up at that B side of the map, doing the damage. Great recovery from him. But let's take a look at this. We've got the Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel Power Plays. You can head on over to twitter.com forward slash ESLCS and make your vote. It's A through D. It's uh, plays from Alex, Zai Wu, and Hunter's cousin all across the board. Plenty of highlight moments from this game, it feels like. So yeah. I'm really curious to see how uh, how that vote pans out. And uh, for anyone who is a little bad at remembering, or maybe if you've only just tuned in, we will recap these for you at the end of this map. Which could be uh, soon approaching, Harry, with the money for Vitality starting to dwindle. That was that eco round, you know, 5k from FaZe where they get all the frags but lose it and then follow up with one round victory. And look at what it's done to the money of Vitality. No AWP on Zaiwu, no armor on shocks and two pistols in round number 24. Olaf gets tagged for the molly, but he does stay standing strong. And it has been given the opportunity to back off as well. No one capitalizing on this position, but Nico going down to the underpass play. Olaf's got to adjust his sight lines. And they're out mid as well. He's missed the timing. So if he sticks around a connector, he's going to die eventually. He has got to move out if he doesn't find a kill. And that is setting in for him as well. Realization as he decides to back up. Vitality taking this one so slowly. They know the stakes. Cold with the second AWP on B. He's taking control of the apartments and Brokey is bailed. Olaf going to watch for this window boost from the back of CT. Actually swapping positions with Brokey as well and moving into that A site. That's a good call. That's where Vitality have their expectations set. Alex getting boost. And Shock's waiting on ramp as the rest come through connector. Yeah, Olaf, so much of this round going to fall onto his shoulders from CT. He's at least got Rain in the sight to help him out. First shot misses, oh. re-peek in, and Zaiwu is ready. They've even spotted Rain, and him now trapped here, trying to make a stand. Brokey's in with one more, out from CT. Zaiwu can't even see him, and he's still on three. Oh, cold! Oh, how? So close! So close yet so far, and it's not enough to get FaZe into this round. Cole He's wants dead. to hold on to the AWP, but Alex is yes. lifted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got worrying. Got worrying. Didn't but take it's, the AWP. Uh, it's another round Ooh. on the board for Vitality. They also grab the AWP. And a knife kill, trying to get in the heads of yeah. FaZe. You know, that's what you got to do. That's how you get back into this. You know FaZe are already feeling this game slipping through their fingers. Now you've got the disrespect of a backstab thrown into the mix as well. Team Vitality from what was 11-0 and 0 at one point in time in favor of FaZe. They're close to pulling this back, and it's largely from one man, really. Like, you're looking at Zywu that round there. He gets three kills. He's still putting up numbers. He might... Uh, uh, like legitimately, I don't know. I feel like today there's there's a slim chance that we see Config's kill record broken if Zaiwu keeps this kind of display up. He's on what? 34 now. He needs 13 more kills. So that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of kills. It, yeah, and, and considering no, 30 a bit, it's 46, isn't it, from Config? Thought it was 47. Ooh. 
Well, hang on then. Either way. Yeah. It's... Either way. Let's let's talk about it when we yeah, get yeah, there, Yeah, Harry. that's true. But I'm, loving it. I'm loving it already. I'm loving Zai. He's going to need to ace like back-to-back -back rounds here. Well, and that's hey. what he's had to do to get them here. Yeah, so... to be fair, that's how they even got on this board in the first place, Harry. That's the only reason that they got four rounds on their CT side. It was the ace from Zai Wu to get them finally on the board all those rounds ago. And, well, the pieces have been falling together in place, not apart since that very point. Zaiwu, though, on the York, playing a little passive this time, not wanting to give away a kill to these Deagles. We saw FaZe. Last time they had this buy, uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't have any armor either. They had four D or five Deagles and four Smokes with no armor, and they killed everyone and lost the round to time. So now they have Kevlar behind that, Harry. Even more chances. And I'm not counting FaZe out of this round. You would be a fool to do so. Connector has been conceded. Vitality have this mid control. Nico going to smoke it off, though. He wants nothing to do with these naughty Frenchmen as the bomb comes up ramp as well. And that's why these smokes become so, so valuable, right? You're still sitting on two of them. They're going for the Inferno delay play, essentially, right? That's what this is. Nico trying to exploit the gap in that smoke, and maybe he would have done if he stuck around. But with the player close, he tries oh. to dictate to that, and Apex will shut him down as a result. See ya. And it's kills across the board for everyone on phase. Cool. RPK and Apex doing everything in this round here. Much needed confidence boost for these two. Yes, yeah, stark difference. And the reason that that round goes so much more successfully for Vitality is it's just a, it's a split into A. It's well-timed. People coming through ramp and connector at the same time, and FaZe aren't able to isolate fights. They're just getting overwhelmed. Whereas the last time FaZe were on Deagles, if we remember, it was Rain getting a kill on ramp. They passed the gun over. Vitality slowed it down. They started, you know, walking into the A site through connector, and uh, and, and FaZe were able to effectively trade down to a 2-on-2 two two in the post part. So... Not going to happen this time. But the buy is back, and Olaf's on the solo orb. That's what I like as well. This double orb hasn't proven to be worth it at all for FaZe in the CT side of this map. Cold and Brokey have had it from time to time, but every time Cold has peaked the apartments, he's died. And Brokey, I think he got a kill on a retake and then lost it. So we've not really had much from the second orb in this game. So one should be just fine for now. And Cole taking a position we've not seen utilized too much by FaZe in the second half either. Up in the ladder room, watching Catwalk. Brokey with an off angle to peer into the B apartments. And Nico baiting a Palace player in for Rain if he catches the timing. Shox is there. Vitality trying to take some mid control with Zaiwu coming under with the orb. That's a risk. But I was no going to say, man, to like, get him. only Zaiwu does this, yeah, right? He right? has he has Alex take mid with the Krieg, and he goes lower tunnels with the orb. They'll swap <laughs> positions. <laughs> oh. Alex, seen over the top of that smoke from Olaf. He was up on top of a ticket. That allows the opener to be found for FaZe. Called in with a response. Zaiwu. Now, a lot of this round going to fall onto his shoulders. Can he find anything? Missed shot onto oh. Cold as he desperately tries to seize the advantage back. <gasps> we'll get oh, no. it the second time around. Now, someone's got to go get this bomb for Team Vitality. That's the problem. 30 seconds, and they can go where they want to, but they've left that bomb behind. And well, if they don't plant, or when they don't plant, then they're no friends of mine. Yep. Got to go back and get it. 20 seconds. They're running on in. RPK nabbing that one with just enough time left. Olaf still in the window. Could get this kill on a Shox who's in the connector. Reigns oh. found him. They try and wrap into A. And that is not the play. Map and series point now for FaZe Clan. They could have hit B there, man. Obviously not, not the Vitality had the information. But once they left the B bomb site, it was completely open. FaZe were playing retake on B with two out of three of their players A side and another one covering middle. So, yeah, if, if Shox runs up short like it looked like he was intending to. That would have been a bomb plant and a two on three and potential for Vitality. But unfortunately for them, they make the wrong read. They go back towards Connector into the unknown as well. And they will lose the round as a result. FaZe finally getting 15, and that has got to be a huge sigh of relief. They are not out the woods yet, though. They need to close it before OT, and Vitality have four opportunities to make it so, but they're getting stripped away. Rain through the smoke onto Shox. Apex just running the gun into this A site, waiting for no one. Rain's dropped the bomb as well. That might just be the round off the back of it. Oh, Zaiwu and Apex, so they've at least dealt with these two players. They can now retrieve that bomb. Olaf not going to miss that 
Blinder onto Alex there, or that sitter rather, not a blinder, polar opposite. Zaiwu trying to hold down CT, jump spotting the angle, now takes up this position. Molotov to go in, trying to deny a boost, and that catches Brogy oh. for some damage. Missed shot from Olaf. Apex looking to go through this smoke, might not be needed because Zaiwu's made quick work of everybody in this round. Three kills for him, two for Apex. Team Vitality a 12th as those two go above and beyond to keep the dream alive. This is a one-man army, Harry. Another 3K from Zaiwu. You keep thinking you can't ask him to do it again, and he's just not stopping. He is single-handedly making this game happen here for Vitality. Great stuff with the AWP. I love the pace from Vitality. They lose those two ramp players, and they just go running into the A site. The quick split through connector. Olaf is able to trade one, but nice little play inside of the smoke from um, whoever that was in CT. I think it might have been Shocks. Either way, it's another round for Vitality. It's an opportunity to uh, get us to overtime with three in the way, phase with a tactical pause. Is this actually going to happen? I, I don't know, man. Like, because it's so close for phase. That's the one thing. Is it just takes one tiny error. You know, all it takes is for Olaf to finally beat Zaiwu in a head-to-head, -head, and I feel like this game is done. Remember it's... as well one thing: uh, if if people are only just tuning in. This was 11-0 for FaZe. Yeah, this, this was 11-0 on the T side for FaZe. Also, if Zywe 3 k's every round now to the end of the game, he'll tie with Config's kill record. I guess he's got a 4K every yeah, round. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tricky. It's uh -oh. not going to be easy. Uh -oh. And oh, oh, dear! Cold Zera doubling up. That's now a Krieg retrieved. Vitality, it can't fall apart like this. This cannot be your undoing up against the partial investment of FaZe Clan. Alex is getting pressured. He's got to hold on to this oh, round. No. Alex and Apex are both so low on HP. And Olaf is wrapping in. He could get them both. He's going to get one and dart back. Ah! Zai Wu bought down oh! low and finished off in mid by Nico. It's all for nothing. 38 kills on Zai Wu is not enough for Vitality vitality to make the comeback happen. It's only Apex, nine points of health and a clutch of the ages. That's what he's asked for here. He'll get found by Rain and FaZe. They get it over the line. They take this series in a 2-0 fashion and they'll get the job done. They wither the storm of Zai Wu. As, as many kills as he gets, as close as he makes it feel, it's not enough. One man is not the answer.